Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And uh, sorry for it being so late right now, but uh, a lot of things going on. And I did want to come back and cover La Palma. I'm sure many people are wondering about this right now. Uh, you're looking at live footage right here from the uh, Canary Islands there. Uh, this thing, well, that thing is really, really shooting up uh, the lava way, way up into the air now. Uh, but there's a lot of issues going on. And uh, in fact, I kind of like this uh, article right here because it shows you a little bit more uh, the the three dimensions of, uh, or two, maybe, well, kind of like a 3D type picture there of the island, where the lava flow is, where the eruption actually has taken place there. And, uh, and of course, still many people are concerned about... Uh, this thing causing kind of some kind of split on the island that could create some massive tsunami. And of course, there is a possibility. Anything's possible, right? There's, there's, it's not like that it's impossibility, but, uh, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I know there's more uh, fissuring going on. In other words, the ground is cracking, uh, things like that. But whether or not we would see a major landslide or not, don't, don't really know at this point here. Uh, one thing we do have, though, and that is the gases there. Uh, if you look at this video right here, um, you can actually see this. Uh, this is the uh, sulfur uh, moving in the atmosphere. And, of course, this is what uh, the people in Washington were really worried about because when you have that type of thing going on, the, the sulfur dioxide... Uh, it also indicates that there is going to be even a greater eruption that's going to take place. The seismic activity does still continue to grow, and that's another problem that we're facing uh, on that. Now, this this guy right here, though, he actually spoke to a um, uh, seismologist, uh, or maybe it was a volcanologist there, that, it, that was up there where he's at on the mountain, and he was able to ask the question uh, to this uh, to that particular scientist, what he thought about a mega tsunami. And uh, so hopefully you'll be able to hear this. I want to play this for you so you can listen to what he says. Listen to this. From the geologist I met a few minutes ago, so his answers to my questions to him. First of all, I asked him the question, what he is thinking about this theory, about this landslide in the north of the island that will cause a mega tsunami that will destroy the east coast of North America and other parts of the world. So he said there is a chance from one to a million that this happens and yeah, for me it looked like that this event, that it's impossible that this, this event happens. So he was very relaxed and yeah, he was, <laughs> he was, it was like, okay, this will not happen. So he's a geologist, he flew in from Tenerife, the neighbor island here, to watch the volcano and I saw a lot of excitement in his eyes and no panicking or something dangerous will happen now. Okay, so there you have it. He actually spoke to a geologist who said that he did not believe it would happen. It would be a one in a million chance that that would happen. Uh, so let's hope that that's actually the case there and uh, that it will remain a relatively... Uh, impossibility. But do keep in mind, if China is the one behind trying to make this thing go off, doesn't mean that they won't be successful in causing that to happen because I know some of the technologies that we have that really could, uh, that could cause that type of situation to happen. We do have the technology. I uh, come from uh, Nick, uh, uh, Tesla and, uh, and that technology that we have could actually create enough seismic activity that could cause something like that to happen. But whether or not that, that they'll do that or not, I don't know. We just have to wait and see uh, as this thing continues to go. Now, he did say also that, uh, that there is a possibility of a much greater eruption happening. He talked about how that the volcano could fall in on itself and then blow back out again. Uh, these are things that can really cause some changes in the earth itself that is on that island. 
So we just have to wait to see what happens there. But do monitor, be vigilant, keep these things in mind, because unfortunately, our government isn't going to really tell you a whole lot of anything. All right, the Jerusalem Post, 747-size asteroid skimmed by Earth, and scientists didn't see it coming. Well, in fact, they didn't realize on September the 16th until after it had already passed, and the next day that they had missed this asteroid, and it actually came in fairly close to the Earth there, only a half a lunar distance or something, half the distance between the moon and the, and the Earth there, this thing came by. And, of course, in the article here, they said had it hit the Earth, it would have caused some serious damage. Um, and in the article here, they go into the idea of why that uh, some of these are not detected. And it's normally the ones that are that are actually coming in from the direction of the sun because they're not easy to see. And then there was another one that had just also been missed uh, that came in. Uh, in fact, it came in only 85,000 kilometers away from the Earth, but it was a very small asteroid, so really wasn't really much concern about what, you know, any damage that that one would have done. But they did say that the other one would have definitely caused some major issues there. So we know that there's going to be a lot of asteroids coming in, uh, especially going into October. Again, though, they are supposed to be small in, in nature there, not supposed to really cause too much havoc there. But uh, but I'm hearing that they're going to be, we're going to get be, be getting more and more of these asteroids with sonic booms. Uh, and these are going to be a lot of these asteroids that are coming in from that direction that nobody can detect, or at least typically are not detected. Anyway, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening, and have a great night.